Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be reading you the story called Broom Man. So I just want to remind you, if you do like the story, please hit the thumbs up below and you can share with your friends and also subscribe if you have not yet done so. Thank you. Lenny walked down the road to the new housing scheme. He had some brooms on his head. The morning was hot and the brooms were heavy, but Lenny was happy to be on the road. It was something different to do. It was Sunday. Lenny's father was sick and could not work today. He was a broom man and Sunday was his best day for selling. That was why Lenny was trying to sell the brooms for him. The breeze was cool and it was not far to the housing scheme. Lenny was enjoying the walk. Lenny, he heard someone calling. His friend Trevor was running after him. Where are you going? Trevor asked. To the new housing scheme, Lenny said. I am going to sell brooms for my father. I don't have anything to do, Trevor said. Let me come with you. Okay, said Lenny. But you have to behave yourself. I know you. I don't want any trouble. Sure, man, said Trevor. I will behave. By this time, they had come to the first street in the housing scheme. The houses were small but pretty. There were many trees and flowers. There were not many people. Lenny started to call out, Broom man! Broom man! House broom, yard broom, car broom, broom. He said it over and over again. He made it into a little song. He was enjoying himself, walking and singing in the breeze. A little way up the street was a big, ugly dog. It was not barking. It was just standing behind a gate, looking at them. Ugly old dog, Trevor said. Just let me get a rock and lick him. Leave the dog alone, Lenny said. What are you troubling it for? It is not troubling you. Trevor did not put down the rock. As he passed the gate, he hit the dog with it. The dog started to bark. A man rushed out of the house. Get away, he called out. You people only want to make trouble. Get away from here. Trevor ran away laughing, but Lenny did not think it was funny. My father says it is people like you that give us a bad name, he told Trevor. It's a pity you can't behave yourself. The dog was still barking, so they turned down the next street. Lenny was calling out again. Broom man, house broom, yard broom, car broom, broom man. Now and then he stopped. A man bought a yard broom. A woman told him, no, thank you, not today. Then they came to a house on the corner of the street. There was a big cherry tree in the backyard. It was near the wall and it was full of red cherries. Trevor was just going to pick some. Leave the people's cherries alone, said Lenny. If you want some, you must ask. Cha, Trevor said. You think these people would ever give me any? Maybe yes. Maybe no, Lenny said, but my father says you should still ask first. As they were talking, they turned the corner. Trevor stopped. There was a police car at the front gate of the same house. Trouble, Trevor said. He was frightened. A big policeman was standing beside the car, talking to the woman from the house. He was writing in a little book. As soon as he saw the boys, he looked vexed. You boys, come here, he called. Let us run, Trevor said quietly. Why, asked Lenny. I didn't do anything. He walked up to the policeman and put down the heavy brooms. Trevor did not come. He stayed at the corner beside the wall. Good morning, Lenny said. He looked right in the policeman's face. What are you doing here? asked the policeman. I am selling brooms, said Lenny. The policeman started writing in his book. Oh, so you are a broom man, he said. So you would know these houses well. 
And you would know when people leave their things outside at night, eh? I don't come here all that much, Lenny said. It is my father who always comes. Oh, the policeman said. So your father is in it too. Call him for me. Let me talk to him a little. The policeman was smiling, but it was not a pretty smile. He was writing in his book. My father is not here, Lenny said. He is sick. That is why I am doing the selling. What a pity, said the policeman. All this time, the woman was looking hard at Lenny. Now she said, Brother Daniel, is your father? Yes, ma'am, Lenny said. The woman smiled and turned to the policeman. She put her hand on Lenny's head. This boy would never trouble anything that is not his, she said. His father is a good man. Every Sunday when he comes with his brooms, he and I have a long talk. We talk about the Bible. His church is different from mine, but they teach the same things. They teach that we must love and do good to one another. The policeman shut his book. It is a pity more of them don't follow that teaching, he said. It is the same in every church, the woman said. You have good and bad in every church. His church is no different. The policeman turned to Lenny. All right, boy, you can go, he said. Tell your father I'm sorry to hear that he is sick, said the woman. Yes, ma'am, Lenny said. He picked up his heavy brooms and walked back to where Trevor was standing. Broom man, broom man. Then he walked back to the policeman. Sell you a small broom for the car, sir, he said. At first, the policeman looked vexed. Then he smiled. He put his hand in his pocket and took out money. All right, son, he said. At the same time, Trevor called out. Can I pick a cherry, miss? Of course, the lady said. Pick from outside the wall. I am happy you are not like some of the other boys. They think they can just pick as they like without asking anybody. Trevor looked at Lenny, and Lenny looked at Trevor. The two of them started to laugh. The policeman and the woman could not tell what they were laughing about. The end. So I really hope you like that story. It is a part of our Jamaican culture to hear a broom man passing through our neighborhood calling out broom man every now and then, right? If you enjoyed it, please remember, hit the thumbs up below. Click subscribe if you haven't done so and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.